Waters Forecaster. Originally developed by Scion and Future Forests Research, Forecaster is a desktop forest growth and quality decision support system. It provides forest managers with tools to create and explore alternative forest management plans. It helps forest planners to determine the best strategies for their businesses by creating scenarios of management options and then simulating the outcomes. It helps silvicultural planners to implement plans correctly by having operations scheduled on time. It helps resource analysts to use log yields derived from simulated quantities at the time of harvest to manage yields to best meet customer requirements. And it also predicts the impacts of site, silviculture and genetics on tree and branch growth and wood properties, which can then be used to estimate wood value, internal rate of return and the net present value. This Forecaster video will cover five objectives. Objective 1, how to open Forecaster. Objective 2, the key information contained within Forecaster, including the version number and database names and locations. Objective 3, the main view of Forecaster, including its three panes and how you can change their setup to suit yourself. Objective 4, the Forecaster tools, including Forecaster setup options. And Objective 5, the help files, including Forecaster help documentation, licensing details information, and about Forecaster information. Objective 1, how to open Forecaster. You can open Forecaster by going to your Start menu, selecting All Programs, the Scion folder, the Forecaster subfolder, and then clicking on the Forecaster icon within there. You can also open Forecaster by double clicking on the icon on your desktop. Objective 2, Key Forecaster Information. In the top left hand corner of your screen, you can see the version of Forecaster which you are currently using, along with the names of your entities and reports databases. Just below this information, you can also quickly see which folder you are in or which entity you are using by looking at the information in the address bar. Objective 3. The main Forecaster view. In the main view of Forecaster, you can see that it is divided into three main panes. In the middle top screen, you have the list view pane. The bottom middle screen is the preview pane and to your left is the tree view pane. You can resize the panes by clicking and dragging on the dividers. You can also change the format of the three panes by going to View, Show Preview Pane and then selecting Right or Bottom. Again, you can change the size of the panes by clicking and dragging on the dividers. Another feature, you can show or hide the toolbar at the top of Forecaster by going to View, Show the Toolbar. You can move the headings in the list view pane around by clicking on each heading and dragging and dropping it to a new location. This can be done with any of the headings. You can resize the headings by clicking and dragging on the end of each box and a double click on the end will automatically resize each section for you based on the size of the largest name. Finally, you can sort the files in the list pane view by clicking on any of the headings which will sort the files by ascending or descending order. Objective 4. Forecaster Tools menu. To access this menu, click on the Tools heading in your menu bar. Once inside the Tools menu, check down the list of items and make sure that Show Messages and Show Practical Advice have a tick next to each item. The Save Results option should be unselected. If it is selected, 
all of your results from each simulated project will be automatically saved to your reports database. Another option in your tools menu is the options folder. This comprises of three tabs, the default tab, the system tab and the user tab. The default tab contains the recommended forecaster settings and you will not be able to change any of the settings in this tab. The system tab contains company specific settings and the user can change each option. As you click on any of the properties in this tab, an information box at the bottom of the page will show you information about that particular property. If you make any changes in this tab, it will override the default settings. The final tab is the user tab, which contains user specific settings. And again, the user can change each option. Any changes that you make in this tab will overwrite the default and system setting tabs. And again, every property that you click on will provide information on that property in the bottom section of the tab. To make any of the changes applicable to your version of Forecaster, you must click on Apply before clicking on the OK button for the changes to work. Objective 5, the Forecaster help files. The Forecaster help files can be accessed via the help menu on the toolbar or by using the F1 shortcut key. Once you are in the main help document, you can navigate to the information that you need by using one of the following ways. You can use the contents list, which you can expand or collapse. You can use the hyperlinks contained within the document. You can use the index tab, which lists the key topics within the help files. You can use the search tab to find specific words or phrases. Or you can use the forward, back and home buttons located at the top of the page. Other files within the main help menu include the licensing details tab which contains information about your Forecaster license, including the number of users licensed for Forecaster, the location of your licensing files, your license expiry date and the features that are licensed to you including the models. Finally, the About Forecaster section contains the version of Forecaster on the Overview tab and the component versions that make up this particular version of Forecaster in the Details tab. Thank you for watching this Forecaster video. If you have any questions, please contact us on 07 343 5584 or you can email us at software.support at scionresearch.co.nz.